But I got, I promised you guys like three fucking months ago a vlog slash video about New York. And that's what you're getting! So I'm going to be talking to you guys about my experience seeing Kinky Boots live and... Sorry, this is like my favorite song from- I'm pl I'm shuffling Kingy Boots, by the way, on my Alexa, so... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, that's what- that's what's happening here. Um, hold on, let me turn her down. Okay, sorry if you just, like, I don't know. Sorry. Okay, well, so I spent a week in New York, and we saw- So I left Monday, and I saw Kinky Boots on Thursday. And if you don't know what Kinky Boots is, I'm not going to fucking explain it to you, so go fucking look it up. <laughs> but I'll put, um, some, like, music shit, like, uh, uh, their, um, argh! I'll put, like, their, uh, songs in the description, or in the eye, I don't fucking know what I'll decide. And I'll put, um, the movie, the actual movie Kinky Boots, and, uh, Brandon Urie singing Soul of a Man. Um, if you're here for Brendan Urie, hi, I'll be fucking talking about him because, uh, I went to go see it when Brendan Urie was, um, playing Charlie. So, hi, uh, Panic fans, subscribe because I fucking love Bebo and Ryo and, um, Raiden. Northern Downpour makes me cry, subscribe. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it was so amazing. I got to meet Jay Harrison Gee, who plays Lola, um, in the show. And, okay, so it made me cry, I'm just gonna say this, because it talked about acceptance and LGBT, and that's why Wicked was my favorite musical before I saw Kinky Boots, because it's about accept accepting people who are just different from you, and honestly, it was so amazing. And my favorite character is, um, Dawn, because he, at first, he doesn't accept Lola, but at the end, he accepts Lola, and it, I think that's, people who don't accept you but then accept you are my favorite people just because oh they they don't accept you but they they learn to accept you and i don't know i don't know why i like i just fucking love dawn honestly and like yeah it's it's but like here's the playbill um so i would have risked my life taking photos of bebo but like we sat in the fucking back and so i wasn't gonna take that chance because, like, five people got in trouble <laughs> just for their fucking phone being on, and it was triggering. But, um, this was, like, the main cast. I met him. I really fucking wanted to meet him. That's the guy who played Dawn, which I... I didn't want to stay out for five hours meeting everyone, so I didn't. But I met just him because I really only wanted to meet Lola. But I wish I fucking met Dawn. And I kind of like Taylor. I mean, like, she's I, but, like, not really into her. These are my two fucking people I wanted to meet, but sadly, Brandon had tweeted that he wasn't going to meet any more fans, which made me tear up, but, like, yeah. I'm at, I met, I uh, met, Jay, so, as well, it's dope. Okay, so, for my birthday, my birthday comes up in October, and I'm fucking praying to Lord, like, I don't believe in you, but can I, can you please, like, I'm, like, praying that my aunt won't take me to go see Kinky Boots, because I want to meet the original cast. Like, I will literally stay outside for six hours just to meet all the original cast, which is the CD, um, this is the original cast. Um, yeah, that's the original cast. <sighs> that's who's also singing on here, and I, I, I've only been listening to the original cast. It's, it's amazing. And everything. I think, um, the playbill tells you that you went, but, like, you could buy the playbill online. So, here's my ticket. I'm not gonna show you information. Um, yeah, I saw it August 3rd, Thursday. Uh, Kinky Boots, Orchestra Center. Um, <laughs> uh, Yeah. That's my ticket, just in case you don't believe me that I went and saw. I have pictures too. Oh, um, when I met Jay Harrison, I made him sign this. I got a sign, sign CD from Jay. He's super sweet. I'm, I he's not the guy singing in this, but like I really wanted this signed, which I didn't realize people signing your playbill is like something you do when you go see um. The musical, so if I see Kiki Boots again, I'll make them sign my playbill. I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't know, so I, whatever. But yes, I like okay, so it's the music, the movie, which of Kinky Boots, which is what the Broadway is mixed off of. The mu mu movie does not have any music related whatsoever, I think just from Lola. Not sure, but um, 
The movie uh, has more details in it than the actual Broadway musical just because the Broadway musical has to have songs in it. But uh, spoilers about to happen when um, the when fuck the the girl cheats on uh, Charlie. I don't know her fucking name. Oh, Nicole. That's right, because it's one of my favorite songs. When Nicola cheats on Charlie, um, the, in the movie it's more um, shown, and um, in the music in the Broadway musical they just fight. But um, yeah, uh, the move the movie shows a lot more details of the situation than the actual Broadway musical. But the Broadway musical has the part uh, more in depth part of Lola's life, kind of more. I think they I think the yeah. It has more in depth of Lola's life because um, they add a part of they are at a song. Okay, well that was the end of this video. I highly suggest to you if you live in New York, go fucking see it. If you don't fucking watch the movie and listen to the music, um, it's amazing. It's so sweet. Uh, if you're uh, LGBT related and you need some uh, help supportive go watch the fucking movie I'll put all this shit down below I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time